My name is Jasmine Nazia Jones and my play is called Baghdadi. Baghdadi is an examination of my childhood memories of the Gulf War and the occupation of Iraq um, and reconciling my memories with my adult understanding of what my dad endured, watching all this horror unfold from the safety of our home in the UK. Usually stories about Iraq are told from the perspective of, of the white British soldier who has fought there or about his family, or it's told from the perspective of um, people who have actually fled Iraq, whereas um, the story that I'm trying to tell is a little bit more nuanced. Although this is my story, uh, I think that it will speak to a lot of people's truths um, about being dual heritage and the difficulties of processing inherited trauma. Growing up mixed race, a lot of people decide for you who you are. Um, and people have often decided for me how Iraqi I am based on whether I speak Arabic, based on how I look, based on their preconceptions of what they think a Middle Eastern person looks like. What they don't see is what your life is like behind closed doors and I think that this is, you know, a real behind closed doors piece of work. So I think that there's a big influence, a big clowning influence in the work. I'm quite drawn to uh, an impressionistic way of working. There's a lot of serious stuff that's covered in this play but it's really important to me to share that kind of content in a way that isn't didactic. This play is predominantly told from the perspective of a child and I really think that was the only way that I could could figure out um, the chaos within me was to go right back, right back to the time when I was first aware of where I was from and who I was. We all at some point see our parents as real people with real problems. It's dealing with something and not necessarily sharing it with you but you absorbing everything around you and trying to make sense of it or knowing that something so big is happening to a part of you. Um, that all your elders seem to know everything about, but you don't. It's the feeling of it that I'm trying to, to share, not the facts, which is why I think it's really important that there are, lo there are loads of impressionistic, surreal, clowny moments within the play because, because there aren't words for that. I just hope that by, by sharing my story, I can shed some light on the human side of the various and enduring conflicts in Iraq. This play is a conversation with the audience and although obviously the audience aren't going to speak back to us, I hope they're not, but much of the conversation involves them. Mm -hmm.